I'm so happy today to be able to, to, to share our, <clears throat> our three new certifications that we've partnered with for uh, sort of many years now with Amatrol and the National Center for Supply Chain Automation. Gosh, guys, I think it's probably been at least, well, probably around almost five to six years to develop this full program that I'll be talking about. But uh, with that said, just a few points on MSSC and who we are. Uh, we are a national leader in, in certifying uh, frontline technicians in advanced manufacturing and logistics. We have um, at this point almost, actually almost 1800 authorized assessment centers that deliver our high stakes assessments around the country. Uh, we have over a network of over 2,700 MSSC trained instructors that have gone through our authorized instructor training program. And um, we're actually the only national certification body accredited under ISO standard 17024. And very few out of the 5,000 certificate and certification groups in the country can have attained uh, ISO 17024 level of accreditation. Uh, and, and so that, that it's very expensive, it takes a lot of time and just it, it's a quality assurance measure for MSSC. We're also endorsed by the National Association of Manufacturers for Manufacturing Logistics. And at this point uh, with, to, with, with today's launch, we have um, seven, seven full certification systems. So two as production technicians, one as a logistics technician, forklift technician and so forth. But uh, for today, um, I'm happy to also mention that we have had a good partnership with MHI. As Steve mentioned the Material Handling Industry of America in his presentation, uh, and the Material Handling Equipment Distributors Association. And again, this, this automation technician that we're talking about is a person who installs, operates, supports, upgrades, or maintains the automated material handling equipment and systems that support the supply chain. And this is a, full, a fully comprehensive system like our other are like our other certification programs in that we start with nationally validated standards. We use those standards uh, to develop our assessments and the questions in our assessments, our courseware, our instructor training, our credentials. And we have a full registry of all of our certificates that's required under our ISO accreditation. Now, the, the first credential um, of the SCA program is called Equipment Maintenance or CTSCAEM. And this credential is aligned with the skills most supply chain employers require for an entry level technician, maintenance technician. Uh, the bullet list shown under the title gives examples of the key activities or skills on which individuals are assessed for the certification. Uh, this includes skills such as system operation, safety, preventive maintenance, lubrication, and various types of machine adjustments. Now, after achieving uh, the EM credential, the next credential individuals can pursue is equipment repair. Now, similar to maintenance, the equipment repair credential is aligned with the skills required. Go to the next level technician occupation in most supply chain facilities, sometimes called a tech two, which is, which is really to troubleshoot, install, and modify the electromechanical equipment. That includes working with systems such as hydraulics, pneumatics, AC and DC, electric motors and mechanical power transmission. Now the, the, the final or third certification is network repair or CTSCA NR. And this credential is really the capstone where our certificates can demonstrate competency of the entire automation system, adding controllers and networks. Like the other two credentials, the NR credential is aligned with industry requirements for tech three level occupation. Now in this credential, individuals must demonstrate their ability to install, configure, program, modify and troubleshoot programmable logic controllers, variable frequency drives, ethernet networks, barcode scanners, and uh, the entire system. So each one of these certifications, um, based on some of the trials we're doing with, with uh, some leading companies right now, Actually, we're looking at probably more than 150 hours, but we're saying 150 to 200 hours of training time for each of the three certifications. So equipment maintenance, equipment repair, network repair, uh, they're gonna be a combination of both an e-learning experience and a hands-on experience using the SkillBoss logistics device, which is really neat because that's the very kind of best project-based learning and one of the best ways to learn. So they're going through the computer e-learning and doing the hands-on 
and it's all interacting together. So now each one of these certifications to earn the full certification requires two assessments. One is a multiple choice assessment based on the e-learning, 90 to 120 minutes, and the other is a hands-on performance-based assessment using the Amatrol Skillboss Logistics device. Now, we're very excited about Skillboss Logistics. Um, again, we do have a national program. So we're in almost 1800 assessment centers. So, and also we have to follow the guidelines and abide by the rules of ISO 17024 to maintain our accreditation. So what, are that, what that means is that really we have to have an equitable or fair training and assessment experience for all of our certificates around the country. And one thing, having the Skillboss Logistics device, as fabulous as it is, which you'll see here in just a sec, um, is that we can offer a fantastic training and assessment experience in classrooms with computer labs. Uh, they do not, this does not require a really expensive multi-million dollar lab. Just the Skillboss Logistics device and the e-learning is enough to get people on this career path, on a very lucrative career path and, and, and onto um, fantastic career opportunities. So this is also very accessible for, you know, schools, in, in, in company training centers and also for underserved rural and urban areas. So we're very excited about the three certifications and thank you 